What we found with the groups that are coming to Atlantic Station is to each one, it was really less about office space and it was a lot more about the, the culture and the environment that was here to allow them to attract and retain talent. And that the winning organizations, those that are truly going to attract the talent of the future, are ones that recognize they're creating an experience for their workforce, a place people want to be, a place that has meaning for them. There are four generations currently working in the workforce. There's traditionalists who were born before 1946, baby boomers, Gen X and Gen Y. By 2020, 50% of the workforce is going to be millennials. They don't believe in life-work balance. What they believe is, is life-work integration, life-work fit. You really want to look at your whole hiring, recruiting, onboarding, and training of your people. Retool it and rethink it. The space is being designed for retention. We're hearing more of that than anything else. Churn. How much churn is going on within a company? How many employees are they losing? Churn has gotten so big because employee culture has disappeared and also you lack the synergistic aspects of working together. The ideas that people have as they see each other, which I think is the crux of workplace strategy. The workplace strategy isn't about always reducing space. It may start that way, but we did an interesting project. What came out of the project though is they took the same amount of space. However, they reorganized their business how their business actually functioned, reported, how people work together. They split their workforce up based on the interviews that were done through the workplace strategy phase. It's no longer about building a space that lasts for a period of time. It's more about building activity centers that change. So we see our workspace as being engaging for people if it can change with the needs and the requirements of folks. Our mind is changing about a wall. It's now not, sh it's, it's not a question of do I need it, it's should I even build it at all? And if I do, how can I easily change it when we move in? So the real estate cycle is moving slow compared to the speed of change in the workplace. The challenge is for a lot of these clients, what I'm finding is not to catch up to now, but to catch to, to build a workplace like Workplace 2020. That's a great name because it's a workplace for 2020, not a workplace for 2014. We really are thinking about it that the workplace should be as big an asset to a company like this as our brand is, as our people are, and as our global distribution system is. We are investing a lot of money to reinvent our world headquarters purely to move the culture needle and the engagement needle of who's there now and how do we attract the right people over the next 30, 40, 50 years.